Right, as the promised, um, go have a look, look at some of the antennas that's uh, at this QTH. Uh, I don't know how this is going to come out actually. Uh, let's go down the bottom of the garden and uh, see what we can see. Uh, yeah, you're going to get warts and all on this video. <laughs> Trying to do it all in one take. Yeah, the sun's just started to come out. It was quite dull before. But yeah, this is uh, the 40 foot uh, push up mast, which I got from a guy in Wales. Um, it's a very good mast actually. Um, just trying to think of his call sign. Uh, GW4LS, uh, Ian. And uh, yeah, I drove down to Wales and got this. He uh, sells them on eBay. And. Uh, it's quite good. I, I say it's comparable to uh, um, oh the uh, spider pole one, but obviously a lot cheaper. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the uh, in the photograph. Uh, from this post here, it's tied off. I've got a 40 metre dipole going up. Um, hopefully, you're getting this. And uh, at the top there, there's a uh, an RF choke which is from um, MFJ, a 9115 RF choke. I think there's about 150 uh, 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 ferrite choke beads in there. And then the other leg comes down to the other side of the garden um, to this bush here. Let's take a bit of a walk down. Uh, yeah, I hope, I hope that's getting in the, in the shot. Um, yeah, the sun's just come out, so it's uh, a lot hard, hard, hard for me to uh, see uh, what's going on. Just go to this side here. I'll be jumping about a little bit here as well. Just making sure I'm not tripped up. Uh, this is the um, open wire feeder to the G5RV, uh, which goes back to the house and uh, connects to that pole there, which is up around 45 feet. And the uh, the feeder comes down here, uh, which goes back to the shack. And this is a uh, an RF choke. As you can see, I've got some beads on the other side of the uh, um, coax, and the coax is 213. Um, just trying to stop the uh, RF getting back into the shack, the common mold choke. And all the antennas here, you can see uh, coaxes all over the show, spare poles. All the antennas uh, are on a T13 down at this end of the garden. And uh, I've got Westflex overkill actually on top of the house. As you can see, more coax here. Uh, this is, I've just had to raise this actually, this pole, I think it's probably about another six foot. It's on a 20 foot scaffold, so it's 26 foot in total. And uh, yeah, I'll have to try and get this back at the, uh, back at the shack. That's an Antrom 99 up there. Um, which are very good antennas. Uh, not just for 10 and 11 meters, they actually tune down to 20 meters, so. Uh, very good uh, antenna indeed, especially for limited space. And we have got limited space in uh, in the UK. As you can see, there's an ugly ballon, and this is the CD Tick 3000, which works from um, 10 to 160. Um, if, if you have got limited space and you're thinking about an antenna, just go with one of these. Uh, you can't go wrong. They're about 250 pounds and uh, uh, they're fantastic, like I said, 10 to 160. I've uh, got fourth, second and first on the SSB uh, contest on top band. As you can see, it's uh, just taped to uh, plastic um, tubing. And it, I don't know if you can see it in this, it, it pulls back. Uh, let's go, go here, see if I can get through this. It pulls back to the other side of this, just to basically just keep the wire. I uh, don't know if you'll be able to see the wire as I'm going up. Uh, just keep the wire off uh, 
this um, uh, push up mast. This is very good quality, this thing. Um, I've had it for two years, it doesn't move. Um, I, say, I like the, 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 the stainless steel fixings on it as well. And as, like I said, uh, uh, I got this from a, an amateur in Wales. Very thick um, tubing on it. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you're thinking about getting a, a push up mask, I'm not affiliated by any way, I'm just telling you what's good. Um, and just to support, I've just put this support in. Um, just to make it more sturdier to fold in the mass. There's not much weight on it, it's only wires, but uh, yeah, there's a scaffold uh, banging to the ground, and I've just coupled it and then uh, uh, duber clipped it to the fence. Um, and obviously, duber clipped uh, the actual pole uh, to, the, to the fence. Well, not for, yeah, it is a fence. It's, uh, this, this used to be a pond, uh, one of our ponds, but uh, this is no longer in use. Right, let's go back now. Um, I think I'm going to have to turn around for some of these antennas. I don't uh, think you're going to get them. Now go straight up here. Uh, no introduction needed. The X-Beam. Uh, fantastic antenna this thing. Um, got this from uh, the guy, the G3 who passed away. I can't remember his call sign now. G G3 THQ I think it is. Uh, but don't quote me on that. He passed away. Uh, uh, two years ago now, and um, uh, there's a guy that's uh, took over uh, MW Zero station. But uh, yeah, fantastic, uh, six meters to 20 meters. Uh, I've gone overkill, uh, mainly uh, on the coax, mainly because uh, I bought a roll of uh, Westflex and uh, for, for the uh, two meter size, I think, and uh, I just went absolutely berserk. Uh, the antennas on the other side, like I said, they're all on Westflex, these things. The antenna on the other side is uh, uh, a cobweb antenna with a two metre coal in here above it. Um, this is my, I started off on this antenna, I've, I've done very well, I've only had the x beam for the last two years. Um, and I've done great on it, to be fair. Uh, for what, what it is, it's just dipoles, folded dipoles. Uh, so if you're a beginner, um, uh, a cobweb is the way to go, and when you, once you've got something up in the air, um, you can actually get, obviously go to the X-beam. I've not pulled it back down because it's, it's a backup antenna. Uh, as you can see here, which comes off the pole, this is uh, an N-fed wire, a 66 foot N-fed wire. I actually use it, uh, let's go back to the pole, see if I can get it. Um, I actually use it for uh, using on the uh, noise reduction. I can't see a thing yet, I'm just guessing where uh, the pole is. Uh, let's try and shade this. Yeah, I think I'm getting it in. Uh, that's an Enfed wire. I bought that off eBay, off another British amateur, uh, G4YKB. Uh, let's go back Let's go back up. Uh, yeah, G4YKB. Um, it's not a fantastic antenna, but uh, at the time, I've just not took it down. I just wanted to get on there, uh, 20 to 40. Um, so what I did, I, I put um, the cobweb up and uh, the, the uh, N-fed wire, 9 to 1 magnetic bell N-fed wire. Let's see if I can get it in here now. Um, just to get on them bands. Because I don't know, I seem to be uh, stupidly in a rush. Um, when I came back on air, and like I said, that's the X beam. I'm hoping I'm getting it into shot. Now let's turn around again. Let's see if I can get the ant on him too close before. Yeah, there's the ant on. Um, 17 foot antenna, and it, it changed from 10 to, to 80. Uh, sorry, t 10 to 20. Um, just just with the internal tune of the radio and another shot of uh, of the uh, push up tower anyway uh, big shake I'll go and check this in when I get inside because I don't know how good the um, actual video is going to be but uh, just a special mention as well uh, for the guys that helped me uh, 
get this these antennas up um, which is uh, G4 sorry yeah no G0 JFP John uh, guy he's, he's fantastic he's phenomenal especially around Manchester he's, he's always doing all the guys antennas and uh, um, Charlie GCL Keldy he's been up here helping with the antennas and uh, M0 CSN uh, John he's been up and uh, my son Paul my son Paul's been up uh, with his mates uh, Matt and George so uh, yeah special thanks to them guys um, I'm getting too old now to uh, be doing all this um, on my own. Just a quick look at the leg of the dipole. Not a fantastic video, I'll just have to see how it uh, looks. I've got a very bad uh, location for, for uh, uh, VHF here. As you can see the hills there, I don't know if, if I pan round. Uh, between the gaps, hopefully, hopefully I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm surrounded by hills, so literally, if I go back over this way, you'll probably see a bit more. Um, so VHF is, is, is it's very bad at this location, but I seem to do okay on the HF bands. But uh, yeah, uh, it's only the second video I've done, uh, so hopefully this has uh, come out all okay. Uh, one more pan up and down um, the tower. Well, the push-up mass. Uh, I, I think that's the G5 RV on top there. Uh, it's up around 45 feet. Like I said, goes back up to the the pole. Hopefully, you're getting it. Anyhow, I'm going to send 73, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, 73 for now.